What is up guys, Zach Scott here, playing Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, and today I'm going to be showcasing the Zombot Aerostatic Gondola, a legendary from Colossal Fossils. It costs 6, it's a 5-6, it's a science pirate zombie, it's amphibious by the way, and when it does damage, it moves to a random lane and leaves behind a random zombie, so dropping this in the amphibious lane is going to be astounding. I think it's going to be really cool uh, because it'll leave behind a zombie, and uh, when it moves, <laughs> you know, then it moves, sure, but there's still that zombie in the amphibious lane. So there are two decks that are pre-made for us that uh, heavily feature these things. We have a uh, sugary chicken. I don't know why it's called that. Let's find out. Zombie chickens and fire roosters move around, so they're hard to block. Give them a sugary treat, and you'll be piling up fast damage five or six points at a time. Barrel of barrels <laughs> lets fire rooster destroy plants whenever it moves. So that could be really cool. Make them toxic, right? Is this it? Indeed, deadly is the correct terminology, but there are four of these Zombot Aerostatic Gondolas. A lot of moving, including uh, the Space Cowboy. So we're gonna see how this ends up working for us. Hopefully it works great. I don't necessarily wanna populate the amphibious lane with this guy, unless I have him on turn one, then I do, because I still want a, a place to play him on turn six. We're gonna showcase this deck. The other deck uh, that heavily features him, is it this one? Yes, the secret saboteurs. Get rewards for hitting your opponents with Cheese Cutter, Dr. Space Time, and Ducky Tube Zombie. That's a lot easier when you pump them up with Secret Agent and clear the way with Extinction Event. Could be really cool. Uh, again, the, the, I don't know how much of a, of a thing this guy is in this deck, how well he works, but we're gonna show this deck. Hopefully, he works wonders in it. Uh, those are the two decks that we're gonna showcase today. Um, I'm not gonna make my own. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this and see what we can do. Uh, Sugary Chicken is seems like a really cool deck to me. I really want to try it out, so I selected it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and have some fun, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna do Ranked Battle. We'll see how, how I do. Win or lose, we're just gonna go with this. And uh, let's see, I'm only ranked six. You know, I've dropped rank because I haven't been keeping up. I haven't been playing as much, but we're gonna have a lot of fun today. And hopefully we get in there and we can win and we can uh, you know you know rack up some victories and also showcase this card today because this is the last legendary card that I have to showcase uh, from Colossal Fossils now I'm I'm talking right now I'm leaving this part typically I edit this part out because sometimes it takes a while to find an opponent but there we go level 34 great <laughs> great <laughs> that's fine I'm gonna cycle out one of those guys sure this is fine enough for me. This guy uh, moves around randomly when a plant is played there, so could be fine. I could also maybe try. I don't know what I'm going to do. Here we go. Goodness gracious, I am ready. I don't know if this guy will. Uh, hopefully, he draws quickly enough. Again, win or lose. Win or lose. I will, I will keep this in. Because, uh, you know, I, I have kind of, in a way. I've lost a bit of skill by not playing as much as I used to, so I need to regain that skill. And that includes having some losses in here, so let's just go with it. Here we go. All right. Okay. Not a big deal. Oh, man. What, what do I want to do? I think I want to cancel it. But then again, I also think I want to... No, I think I want to cancel it. The reason being is because I, I, I want that bean to be, be gone. It has team up, maybe she plays in front of it, I don't know. That's going to attack me a little bit, that's fine. All right, we're good. Don't mind me, here we go, boom. Cancellation. If it's a bean deck, I do not want that thing in there because it'll keep attacking me and it'll be very, very annoying. I'm gonna play this. All right, let's see what needs to happen here. I'm still holding off for this. The zombie gets plus three, plus one, which is a great maneuver. But again, I'm gonna hold off on it. I really will. Team up with that bean. Great, yeah. Let me attack. My blocked one of these. Blocked, unfortunately. Could be five in the middle. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Yikes. Oh, okay. 14 to 14. I blocked my next hit, though. I don't know exactly what I want to do. Let's go ahead and start. Let's just put this out here. 
We'll start using my tricks soon enough. Uh, she could have five in the middle and destroy that, which I'm kind of trying to entice. We'll find out. The smart play for her would be to play on the far left, moving my chicken over to that lane with the bean. Okay, bounce the zombie, that's fine as well. Okay. Boom and boom, conjure a card for me. I blocked this one. I was okay with that. Here we go. Boom. Block. Thank you. <laughs> Two uh, infinity clones. I do not want to play that because I want to have some maneuverability here. Almost time to play that. It really is. This is a uh, plant secret minus one, minus one. Hmm. Hmm, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna make a plan. This is plus three, plus one. I'm gonna sneak it in there. I have time to do it this turn. Okay, that's fine. That's four in that lane. Another bean move. I'm so glad I, get, I got rid of that bean. I really am. Oof. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. That gets rid of one of them. I'm then going to prioritize attacks, I think. It's a 5-3. Blocked. Could be 5 in the middle. Been kind of waiting for that to happen. Freeze a zombie, draw a card. Interesting. So that zombie won't be able to move. I'm going to put this guy probably in a tombstone. Next turn. Oh, actually, I can't. I can, but I can't. I'm gonna definitely play this. This is the whole point of this deck is to play this, so maybe a little gutsy. She might have some more magic beanstalks to play, which will draw her more cards. I'm excited about this, though. Uh, when this does damage, it moves to a random lane and leaves behind a random zombie. A random zombie. No, no limits on that zombie. No limit. I'm a soldier. It's 12 to 6, though. I could still lose this. All right, he's gonna bounce. I, I assume, I know, yeah, I assume that was gonna be the bounce. Man, here we go again, another bounce. That's fine, that's fine, another bounce. Darn, my pride and joy, that's gonna be a five. All right, sure, I conjure a card, but I'm gonna get hit for a lot here. Not my, I'm not a huge fan of this. Okay, sure. Seven to five, I'm a little scared. With that said, I'm gonna play this. I'm worried about bouncing, of course. I'm gonna play this, though. This guy's free, so I'm gonna play him anyway. And then uh, we'll see what I use. I have uh, some tricks up my sleeve that I might be able to pull off. I am worried about losing this one, and uh, the main thing is is such strong cards, which is a little bit tough, but I knew it. I freaking knew it. I'm gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do this appropriately. Good lord. Um, all right, great. And then I'm just gonna put this guy here. So I get to draw a card. That will be next turn. Do four damage to a plant. I'm not sure who's going to be too, but we'll figure it out. All right. <sighs> and this has damage. It moves to a random lane and leaves behind a random zombie. So what we want to try to do...
Let's see if this works. Hopefully. Let's find out. This is all I got. I probably more bounces. She's probably playing a bounce deck. But my hope is that I do damage and then move to the far right lane. Dang it, another I knew it, another bounce. Come on. This is really tough. These bounces are really killer. Four damage. Still alive. Still alive in this lane. This lane is a mess. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Ugh, okay. Anyway, like I say, this is this is very tough. I, I gotta try this. I haven't been able to actually use this guy yet, so let's just see. One of them's gone, not that it really matters, but sure. Let me guess, I get bounced again. If I do, I hope I block. I probably won't be blocking though. Just my luck. I'm having an ultra hard time playing that. He bounces it every time and it's just obnoxious. Okay, that's my death right there, right? Maybe, maybe not, let's see. If I block this 10, that would be a miracle. Everything's dying. Oh my gosh. Thank you. All zombies get deadly. This is rough. This is really rough. Um. This is uh, a zombie becomes deadly conjure a barrel. This is really, really rough because I don't know what to do. This is my best guess here of what needs to be done. I don't know though. I should have played, I should have played the chicken. What am I thinking? I should have played the chicken. That would have been a little bit better, I think. Yeah, this just seems like a loss. Great. God, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is tough. Uh, I can't make do with this. This is not gonna work. If I do uh, draw a card, I mean, even with this, this is not gonna, I can't imagine any, yeah, this, I'm just doomed. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna watch this play out. Like I said, win or lose, I would leave it in. This guy was way more skilled than I was. I don't know why they paired me against someone so much higher level. But like I said, win or lose, we were gonna leave it in. Unfortunately, no matter how many times I played that guy, he kept getting bounced. So let's go back in with this deck, see if I can go, go against someone who's closer to my level and see if I can actually showcase this card. Cause I played him like, how many times did I play him? Like three or four times? Each time he got bounced, I did not even get to showcase his power. So that's how intimidating of a card that is. Level 25? Okay, that's fine. I should be able to beat these guys. I really should. This is just... I'm gonna try. I know what needs to be done. Let me just try to do it, right? Alright, this guy's going over there. This is to move a zombie. That's fine. I'm moving back. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I might move him back. But not yet. Here we go. This is uh, do two damage to each plant. I want to play this. Now, I know for a fact that I could be facing the five in the middle here. But with that said, I'm comfortable knowing that. 
because at least it'll draw out that super, and I won't have to worry about it, worry about it again. Okay, nice, interesting. Um, all zombies get deadly. There we go. Now he's deadly in a three-three, which is hilarious to me. Look at that. Look at that. Um. There we go. Let's just cover it all. Now, again, I know that I could have... Oh, wow. I'm moving him. He's now a 5-4 in the amphibious lane. I'm going to get hit for 4. That's fine, because I'm going to do at least... I think I'm going to do 9 damage this time, unless... That might be 5... No, freeze a zombie. Darn it. I should have anticipated that. It's fine. Boom. Great, right? Now it's round five for me. This is interesting because it does two damage to each plant. Not quite time to do that. Uh, I might just drop this in here and see what we can do. I can weather this storm, so to speak. This is going to be a tough one. I, I Bases are loaded for me. It's 16 to 10. Pete France here could switch it around on me. I know that he has the capability to do, to do that. Okay, that's nice. God, that's actually going to take me out. That's fine. Now, the beauty of this, the absolute beauty of this, and I mean it, is that this is going to work out splendidly for me. Block that one, but guess what? Doing two damage. I might get. No, I'm not. Wow. This is such a shame. That's fine. Uh. This is really intriguing. I really want to use it, but also I want to do... I want to go ahead and do this. Do... You know what? Why would I do that? Let's put it here. I don't know if it's going to do any good, but it's there now. When it does damage, it's going to move to a random lane, but I think I might win this one pretty soon. Okay, that's fine. Okay, who are you going to give it to? Okay, let's see this play out. This is one damage, and then my three. I mean, like, yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna win without it. So again, I went, I, this time, I played it, but I won before I was even able to really use the ability, which is, which is almost as sad as before, where it was getting bounced every time. I, I wanna, I, I do wanna win, but my, my number one priority is to showcase the card here so you guys can see it in action. It can be tough like that sometimes, so. Um, let's go again. At two stars. Uh, no need for edits here. You guys are seeing how the sausage is made here. We're going to go in again. Let's see if they put me with someone a little more my level. I don't know. That's two, level three with, like, no previous ranking. Before, a little tough. Let's, let's see. I feel bad. But we should be fine. Um, I'm gonna start again with the uh, the ducky tube zombie. I'm just waiting. Uh, I feel like this is a little unfair, but this person, uh, this is a similar situation with this person. Closer ranked, but has no prior experience. But that's a good move for that. I mean, that's what I would have done. That's a pretty smart thing. Unless it's a new account for this person, I don't know. Here we go. Now I might have a trick up my sleeve or two. I don't know. We'll find out. So he's gonna move. No, he's, gonna, he's got the basic cards. Kind of an odd thing. Ooh, man. I don't know. Maybe once. Maybe he wanted that there. Yeah, I'm not so sure what to do. Uh, I might just leave it. I don't know. Sure. Because what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the, this chicken in. It's going to be great. Do the damage. Sure, you got your son now, but these guys are gone now. All 
Alright, move out of the way. This is gonna move too. That is, that is one damage there. So I really don't like that uh, that's gonna hurt me. I'm gonna move it. Uh, move it over to there. That's gonna take out the flower and let me do up to six damage this turn. And again, I still haven't even draw, drawn the other guy. I just got these chickens all around. All right, this is wonderful. This is a weird thing, but it's wonderful. It's gonna work. I'm gonna probably give everyone deadly. Cause I got, I got almost all the bases loaded here, so to speak. Oof, that's a strong one. Deadly for everyone, just because. Why not? I'll get to draw a card. I'm running low on cards. She's running low on cards. What I really hope, blocked. What I really hope is to get that zombie so I can play it. I wanna see it in action. Ouch. They're both 1-1s, one -one, but they are still deadly. So that's the real kicker there. Yeah, I don't know, man. Here we go. Is she gonna have anything to put in the amphibious lane to take care of me? This will do four damage to a plant, the K explosion. You would think if it were an explosion, there would be some sort of area of effect. But nope. Okay, that's that's well played, um, in a way. So that gets to move. I might just take that two damage and just wait for something a little bit different, but I'm actually gonna make that guy deadly and he's gonna conjure another barrel. Great. <laughs> I conjured the barrel, it's the same one. No, these are all one attacks I blocked, oddly enough. Uh, I don't really wanna do that, so. Maybe next time. And again, we're kind of faced with this thing where I'm winning, but I haven't got what I want. I'm not sure what to make of this. Here we go again. I've got all these weaklings out. You know, really like one type of mass. I don't know what this, you know, my memory isn't so, oh gosh. So that moves. Even with, oh my gosh, even that. Um, that's a that's a big hit I would love to do the four damage there but it doesn't really matter let's just do it here okay whittling this oh, this is this is taking taking some time everything's deadly I have a like one extra card than she does. So let's see what she does. Odd choice, I would have gone for the amphibious, but again, I, I can't really judge this person too much. They seem re relatively new, but also I can't be doing six damage each time. That's gonna be fatal. So I guess I'll do this. And this. Oh boy, she has two cards. Not telling what they are. It could be a. They could. They, they could be like a nice legendary packed in there, but I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another victory where I didn't even. Well, that time I didn't even get to draw the card. So, it's. This is just all kind of messed up in a way where I'm trying to showcase this deck and this card. I think we have a good idea about what this deck is about, but we don't have a good idea about what this card is about. We can't visualize it. So. I leveled up there, and this is why I often take it to single player mode, because no matter how many times I go against, oh nice, 300 damage, I got some gems there. No matter how many times I go against players, we're still dealing with the issue of me not being able to um, necessarily, oh, by the way, there's a Feast of a Sale right now. There's still the issue of me not being able to actually play or draw or utilize the cards that I'm trying to. We're going to choose the other deck. This is the Secret Saboteurs deck that we just, you know, a few minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, we I showed you the, the makeup of. But hey, let's go ahead and look at it again one more time because I, I want to know. Okay. Let's see if I can play it. I don't know. I'm going to play against the, the computer. And these could be some losses. These could be some real losses because 
Um, the computer oftentimes is better at managing than, uh, than regular players, and it's kind of frustrating at times, but ultimately um, I could actually pull off at least a showing of what this card does, which could be very cool. I love how this is amphibious now. I'm gonna go ahead and do it as such. That was an update, not like recently within the past few weeks, but like with Colossal Fossils. That was an update where that guy, hey, we're on round three already. And still. All right. Um, I'm going to bounce him and make him stronger, which I think will be hilarious to put that in the amphibious lane of 5-4. In the amphibious lane, it costs 2. That's a real no-brainer to me. I might even give him a plus 2, plus 2. Might as well. She's not going to block this as a 7-6. Boom! Round 5. Zombie evolution destroy a plant. Um... There are no plants here. This is a zombie evolution bounce a plant. Again, no plants here. What do you want from me? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to lay the groundwork uh, for laser base alpha. And what that means to me is this. And sure, make him extinct. Another seven damage that will not be blocked. I, I'm so close to winning. This is ridiculously how, I cannot believe how close I am to winning, but boom, this is a 5-6 uh, with strike through, deadly. It will do damage unless it gets destroyed before it has a chance. My issue now is I'm probably just gonna win with this hit and I'm not gonna be able to showcase it moving around and leaving behind a random zombie, which is what I really wanted to do. So there's a punishment here for being too good at this game. Victory. I like the deck though. I like, uh, I love that this afterlife, whatever his name is, is uh, ran, uh, not random. We're gonna do random battle. I love that, that that card is now amphibious. So, back here again. If that's too expensive for now, uh, this is a duplicate. Sure. All I wanna do is draw that card and play that card. But I've been winning, or in some cases, uh, losing before round six. Playing him, I might end up bouncing him or giving him plus two, plus two. Let's just bounce him. Give me that cheese. He's a five, five. That's a good deal, right? There we go. Talk about it. All I want to do is... Showcase that card. I cannot believe it's taking me so long. We're almost 30 minutes into this video and I'm now on computers who are supposed to go fast, but they still take their time to think. Move a plant. It gets plus four. Fine. He really does not want me to conjure any cards, but I will soon. All right. I, okay. Yeah. So this is interesting in a way. I can do this and destroy a plant, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to destroy. That guy, goodbye. I just want the space. I want to be able to maybe do, do five damage. Do three to, wow, okay, he had a plan. See, the computer is really good. Oh, he's in the end. And back there is a two, three, okay, that's fine. But thankfully, this guy's destroyed. Great. Round five. I'm gonna maybe use a trick. I got a 4-1 here. I'm gonna laugh if he leaves me. No, he's gonna kill me. Just so ridiculous. This is minus two, minus two, and all other copies of that plant. Also get minus two, minus two. Let's just do it, just to get it out of the way. That way you won't be damaging me. I'll still take that two. I do the one, my first hit on him, and now I'm a two-two. 
All right, but here's what I'm worried about the most, obviously. I want hmm, zombie evolution. Do I want to do that? I don't think so. I think I want to bounce something. All plants get plus two. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Hmm. I'm just gonna let him grow, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna bounce him, I think. Here we go. Bounce him. I'll play him next turn. He'll be even more powerful. Then he's gonna get crazy beefed up. So, I'm gonna get for four. I was really hoping on blocking that, but I'll block the next one. My goodness. So this is the one for the amphibious lane. This one's just here. And then this one's I'm gonna utilize the evolution and destroy the only remaining plant. Can I get a what? <laughs> Can I get a what? Okay. Big hit, another five, but it will be blocked. So I'm happy enough with that. Goodness gracious, freeze all plants on the ground. I would love to next round. Fortunately, uh, I'm a heavy hitter right now. Believe me, all I want to do... Freeze all plants on the ground that include... Oh my god! You've got to be joking, kidding me. What the heck is this? I cannot believe this is even a thing. Do I get to draw a card with this? No? Okay. I'm gonna bounce him and destroy one of those guys. That is too much. He's a 7-6. He's gonna be quite effective, believe me. Oh my god. Ugh, it's spread out. I don't even know what to say, dude. This is uh, super tough. I'm gonna destroy this one. I'm out of cards. This is, uh, it's interesting because we get to see the decks work this way. I'm coming down to the end of the line here. This is not good. I think I'm dead. I, th I just realized I'm dead. Okay. Well played. The computer is pretty good. Unfortunately, I didn't even get to draw that card. Boom and boom. I'm dead. The computer, I mean, he has a program. He has algorithms. Random battle. I really, man, I am struggling, guys. I really want to showcase this card. In fact, if I don't have this in my hand on the first draw, I'm going to just redo. There it is. I'm going to get rid of this, though. That's kind of pricey. Okay. Again. Come on, computer player. Let's see if we can actually pull through with this. I saw, You do not understand how much I want to showcase this card. Sometimes it just takes some time. This is for the ground. All plants on the ground. Plants on the ground. Plants on the ground. Looking like a fool with your plants on the ground. That's a good one. I'm going to use that next turn. All right. So he's gonna, she's going to have so much sun for the next round. Uh, that's disappointing. But the good news is that I now am able to uh, hopefully adequately play this. Here we go. I can ruin both of those plants right now that are there on the ground at this moment. I sometimes wonder if the computer has programmed... Oh, my God. Those guys are gone. He's dead, by the way. And now I am concerned about what's going to happen because this is just, this is rough. This is minus two, minus two. The, the thing that makes sense is to just do that and destroy that plant because why would I want that plant there? It's just going to cause me so much pain and grief. That's fine. I'll take that. She's going to block her next hit, unfortunately. Four to three, I didn't even do damage, so it doesn't even count. All right, now this I can I can tolerate. This is great. I love that that kangaroo is deadly. Bring it on. Bring it on, three, oh, come on, of course. No, I don't like that. You know what? I'm, I'm seriously, I don't want her to have any sun. 
It's worrying me how much sun this, this plant is going to have. Alright, so, the thing that intrigues me about this card is that I can play this, and when it does damage, it moves. Leaves by a random zombie, so if I can do damage, maybe I'll move over to the right. I mean, I'm going to move to the right. I can't go left unless she takes out this, uh, this cosmic imp, which then I might, anyway. So sure, do whatever you must. Oh my god, dude, what the heck? She's wiping me out. I cannot believe this. I should have saved something. So do I actually get to move, or... Damage, move now, move now! No, darn it. So I don't even get to leave behind a random zombie. Because I died. Oh my god. This is the worst. This is seriously worse than I thought it was going to be. This is harder than I thought it was going to be to showcase this card to its full potential. Why block me there? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and freeze you. So that flower is gone. Oh, blocked. Great. Well, I don't care. You know what? I do my damage. I don't get to bounce though, that's the shame of it. But, uh, I could technically bounce it now, but I, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and, this is a bounce a plant. I like that idea of bouncing a plant, because then she has to play it again. Alright. I'm gonna keep, you know, him moving on, you know. I like that this guy's dead. The cosmic imp, of course, is dead. Oh, God. Dang it, dude. Well, I mean, I don't want to, like, get hit for six, so let's just... Such a shame. I mean, like, the, the computer knows exactly what to do for, like, any situation. It's... It's sad. <laughs> Six and nothing. Uh, I could do five and four. I think I will do the five and four, and then next turn, just whatever, man. Destroy him. I don't care. That six is intimidating. Next round, I'll, I'll do uh, the Zombot again, the Gondola. If it'll let me. Whatever, dude. Oh, to me? You know what? Freeze all plants on the ground, and that's your punishment. Here we go. Gone. This thing's frozen. Does this generate sun? It does. We're fine. We're going to put this here. Put this here. Leave behind a random zombie. Please do the damage. Do not get sidetracked. Do what you must do. This is this is promising, but there's a team up. That guy's gone. I'm happy with that. Oh wow, this is great. Okay, we guys, we're finally gonna get to see this in action. When I when this does damage, it moves to a random lane and leaves behind a random zombie. This is exciting. Boom! It didn't move. It didn't move. Why didn't you move? What? What? It didn't move. Does it have to do damage to the hero? If so, we'll find out right here, right now. Damage to the hero? Yes. Oh my gosh. Nice. Three. I don't care. Boom. Victory. So that card is mislabeled. So it's kind of funny because everything I was planning for previously was just to do damage damage, not damage to the hero. I was playing it in such a way, if I knew I had to do damage to the hero, I would have made darn sure to have the amphibious lane clear. But I, I, okay. So when I was playing it before, I was, I was playing it with the intention of just damaging a plant. They need to reward that card, they really do. So note that, at least for now, unless they update it to match the wording on the card, that at this moment, in Colossal Fossils, we're talking 2017, because there's only a couple more days in 2017. For 2017, and maybe up into early 2018, maybe, but at least for 2017, that card has to do damage to the hero to move. It does not say that. It's worded weird. 
I would prefer it the other way. Doing damage to the hero is a little, a little tougher. But I would make sure, you know, if I would have known that, I would have played a little bit differently on my previous rounds. I maybe even would have won the one I lost against the computer player had I known that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. We've showcased all of the legendary cards from Colossal Fossils. Finally got to showcase that one. I'm glad, and I also, you know, the secondary purpose of these videos is to showcase some of the decks. So I got to showcase two new decks today. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy. Guys, thanks for watching. Come back next time for more Plants vs. Zombies Heroes. You know I will keep up with all the updates. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.